I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on Related Rate of Change. Here is an excellent example which will give you insight to solving questions where we are looking into the rate of change of length of the shadow and that of the tip of the shadow. Now there is a very fine line of difference between the two and I hope by the end of the video you will appreciate it. The question here is a spotlight at a school dance is fastened to a wall 8 meter above dance floor. A girl 1.75 meter tall moves away from the wall at a speed of 0.75 meters per second. A. At what rate is the length of her shadow increasing when she is 2 meters from the spotlight? B. How fast is the tip of the shadow moving? Right. So these are the two parts. You can always pause the video and answer the question. We'll begin by making a small sketch here. Let's say this is the wall, 8 meter and uh, that's the flow. And somewhere in between is the girl dancing. So there's a spotlight. Now from here, let me draw a line indicating the shadow. Okay, so let me put the girl at this position. So from the given scenario, what we know is that the spotlight on the wall is 8 meters and the height of the girl is 1.75 meters. So we need to work on two things. One is length of the shadow. So let's highlight this length of the shadow. So when we say length of the shadow, it means this part. That is the length of the shadow. So let me call this length of the shadow as y. Right. When she is 2 meters away from the spotlight means horizontally we are saying. So we'll call that as x, distance from the wall. Right. So x is the distance from the wall. Here is the girl, right? So let's say this is the wall and that is the shadow. Now when we say tip of the shadow, it means what? Tip is right there. That is the tip of the shadow, right? So this is called tip of the shadow. So in part B, how fast is the tip moving? That is to say the total distance, right? So we'll say let this distance be z, which is equal to x plus y. So in part B, we want to find rate of change of z with reference to time. Is that clear to you? Right. So I hope the question is now absolutely clear. Now whenever you have this kind of a situation, best thing is to go for similar triangles. Correct. So we get our equation from similar triangles. Perfect. Now which two triangles are similar? This small one which is formed with the girl's height and shadow and the bigger one wall and the total tip of the shadow length correct so that gives you an equation that 8 over x plus y is equal to 1.75 over y correct so that is your equation you can cross multiply, you get 8y equals to 1.75x plus 1.75y. Bring terms together, 8y minus 1.75y equals to 1.75x. So when you take away from 25, you get quarter, right? And then 8, 7, 6, right? So that is what you get. On the right side, we have 1.75x. So that becomes your equation to work with. Now we are also given here that the girl moves away from wall at a speed of 0.75 meters per second. So that means x. So we are given that dx dt 
is equal to 0 0.75, right? So we'll take care of units later. So I hope that one part is done. We got our equation and we know how to find a rate of change from here, right? So let's rewrite this equation and differentiate both sides. So we have 6.25y equals to 1.75x. Now let's differentiate with respect to time. So differentiate with respect to time, both sides. So we get 6.25 dy dt equals to 1.75 dx dt. Now from here, we know what dx dt is. We can find what dy dt will be, right? So dy dt is equal to 1.75 divided by 6.25 times dx dt. Perfect. dx dt is known to us. It is 0 0.75. So we can write this as 1.75 over 6.25 times 0 0.75. Let's use calculator to find this answer. So we have 1.75 times 0.75 divided by 6.25 equals to 21 over 100 or 0 0.21 meters per second. Perfect. So we got the first part, which is part A, length of the shadow, right? So, so Y is the length of the shadow. So that is it. Now, let's work on part B, which is tip of the shadow. So when we say tip of the shadow, we already have our equation, Z equals to X plus Y, right? So, so we have Z equals to x plus y so the rate of change with respect to time will be dx dt plus dy dt so that gives you the tip of the shadow change right so in our case we know what dx dt is okay let's highlight dx dt is given to us as 0 0.75 dy dt we just calculated length of the shadow which is 0 0.21 and we need to just substitute these values to get the answer perfect so it is uh, 0 0.75 plus 0 0.21 so so we get dz dt as equal to 0 0.96 meters per second so that is for the tip of the shadow do you see that so this is tip of the shadow part B. So with this example, I hope you understand and appreciate the difference between these two statements. Length of her shadow, this y is the length of the shadow. And tip of the shadow is from wall to the tip of the shadow, which is at S. That also moves when the girl is moving. Perfect. So that is how it should be done. Many times in test paper, I've seen people calculating the wrong thing, right? So I hope that is absolutely clear. We'll take up a multiple choice based on this uh, question for as your test example, right? So here is your question as a multiple choice. You can always pause the video, copy this question, work it out, uh, write your answers. I'll provide you the solution of this question in the next video. The question here is, a student six feet tall walks directly away from a 18 feet lamp post at a rate of 8 feet per second. How fast is the tip of her shadow moving along the ground when she is 100 feet from the lamp post? Right, so that's the question for you. So let us sketch the scenario first. Okay, so here we have a lamp post which is 18 feet above the ground and let's say and that is how the rays are coming uh, and there is a student which is walking so we'll make this triangle these two lines are parallel right 
and these are right angles. So we have similar triangles, correct? So such situations we know we are working with similar triangles. Okay, let's label. We have this lamp post which is 18 feet, so I'm just writing 18 feet here and uh, at uh, okay six feet tall students so this is six feet let's write six here okay how fast is the tip we call this point as the tip of the shadow moving along the ground when she is 100 feet from the lamp post so when this distance is 100 right so when this distance is 100 okay so definitely diagram is not to the scale but okay now that is the situation now when i say we are given that the girls the student six feet tall walks directly away from this at this rate of eight feet per second so what is this eight feet per second given to us so so this is distance let's call this distance as x so at any time let us say that the student is x feet away in that case dx dt is a change in position of the student from the wall that is given to us as 8 feet per second right and what is this portion we can call this as y we'll say let y be length of shadow Correct. In that case, tip of shadow will be what? Let's call this as Z, which will be X plus Y. So from the wall, Z is the tip of shadow. So I hope these points are absolutely clear, right? So we have the right scenario in mind now we need to really find what we need to find what is dz over dt that is what we need to find perfect so what we can do here is since we have two similar triangles we can always relate them so we could write this as 18 over total length which is x plus y is equal to 6 over y right it's a smaller triangle we can simplify this dividing both by six we could write this as three divided by x plus y equals to one over y now cross multiply so we get three y equals to x plus y bringing y this side we get three y minus y equals to x two y equals to x so we have a very simple equation now so at this stage we can differentiate with respect to time so we get 2 dy dt equals to dx dt you can see this is independent of distance right so um, so at any distance at any point this rate of change is going to be similar right same okay now from here we can find dy dt but that is not what we need right remember that part so dy dt is half of dx dt we got one relation okay so let's move on and now get closer to our answer so we can first get dy dt which is independent of this distance but is directly proportional to dx dt which is 8 so we get this as 8 divided by 2 is 4 right feet per second so we get dy dt but we want dz dt so we know z is equals to x plus y tip of the shadows so rate of change of tip of the shadow with time is sum of rate of change of the distance from the wall that means rate of walking plus rate of shadow length do you understand this part right which is dx dt is given to us let's let me highlight this what is given dx dt is given to us 8 so we get that as 8 
and dy dt we just calculated which is right here plus 4 so the answer is what you have to add them both perfect you have to add them both to get the right solution so here we get 12 which is option C so this is a very important question you have all these numbers here 4 8 12 and 16 so it's kind of difficult to get the right answer and therefore you see this question in many important multiple choice test papers which may include admission to places like IITs and very good institutes but I hope now the concept is absolutely clear feel free to write your comments and share your views if you really like and subscribe to my videos then it'll be great thanks for watching and all the best